Hey. Um, I'm back. <clears throat> I really don't feel well, so I'm redoing like some of the um, LA Noir I did because I didn't like it. Oh, come on, Sean. Oh, Sean, come on now. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna get in there. Oh, sh what the fuck? Why? Why is Sean having me up against the rope? Seriously, this is stupid. All right, you know what? Fireball, fireball. You got. Oh yeah, combos. I got combos, son. What you got? You got nothing. I got teleports. Mmm. Come at me, bro. Yeah. That's what the fuck I thought. Sean. Sean the sheep. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's do this. Start out with a teleport and a little taunt. Go on. That's good. Yeah, fireball. Ah, oh, taunt. Oh, no, no, no. Teleport. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what's up? I oh, really want a perfect. Ah, oh, shit. Bye bye. Why does Sean do that to me? <laughs> oh well. It's him down. Next. Let's take on Aura. <clears throat> I don't feel like a Dudley fuck, but fuck. I, lo I like the Auro match, I just think it's weird. And that Akuma can. I don't know. I think Akuma's just good for everything. Oh, yeah, low. Um, <clears throat> if you do a short tuts with Akuma, that's completely unsafe. Unblock. Um, if you do a forward or a heavy forward or roundhouse, it's somewhat safe. Heavy more so. Black. Fierce more so than forward. If you do go in for combos where it ends with like a fierce uppercut and you and the opponent blocks your fierce uppercut, just cancel into super and then dash away. Either dash away or teleport away. Or, I think you can do this, on the first hit of the blocked uppercut, teleport out. And I think that would work because it's a cancel in. It's a super move. It's a special cancel into special thing. So I think you can do that. I'm not sure, but it should work. Now the Chun match I hate with our oh, fucking bitch. The Chun match I hate. You can see she's just rocking me right here, so I can get out the corner. With Chun, I really don't want to be in the corner because I know that she can rock me in the corner, and that's not what I want. So I'm just trying to stay out the corner and get as many cheap shots in as I can. Trying to chip her down a bit there. Building some meter in between fireballs. And now I teleport out because I'm a bit scared. Fire uppercuts will go through fire and again I try to chip her out but she moved away. I should have set that up better. Yeah, sometimes when people block high to a fireball they don't think of blocking low. Thus, I can go in with a low forward. So here we go, start off the match with a teleport jump fireball, which is how I like to start some matches, because I think it's just, you know, it's fun. I think <laughs> teleport in a way is just so much fun. But as you saw there, a couple hits from her took quite a bit of damage. So you don't really want to be taking much damage from Chun. And I whiffed a, I missed a um, opportunity to get in with a combo right there when I did the crouching fierce. Oh, there we go. Do some cancel action. And I tried to go in for a grab, but I knew it wasn't going to work, so I just thought, eh, I'll do the move, build some meter, go in for a grab, and land before she gets up. So I can do something. Bonus stage. Chun Li is the fastest person to do the bonus stages, because all you have to do really is spam. Um, 
spam her light, sh short lightning kicks. Short lightning, EX lightning, short, EX, short, EX, 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 short. With Akuma, just do this. It's pretty simple. Do uppercuts cancelled into supers. Do t hit, um, roundhouse tuts. And you're, <clears throat> you're all good. Let's take on some Yang. I feel like kicking some Yang. This is payback for when he rocked me in my previous recording as Alex. Alex is just so much fucking work. I did the uppercut expecting him to jump in on me. Because that's, that's what Yang usually does to me. I don't really want to be caught with Yang, and that's why. I don't really be want to be caught by Yang combos, because they're damaging. That was a mistake. I definitely shouldn't have done a um, fierce uppercut without setting it up. But I thought I'd do that cancel to get some chip off him. Yep, there we go. So I'm going in with the um, DK. I call it a dragon kick because it's the same motion as a dragon punch. That was fail, okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, that was. A, I hate it when they cr on shorter characters. They m usually crouch against that move, which is why I can never land a combo afterwards. And there we go. Oh yeah, my throat is fucked. I feel really tired all the time. And I feel really thirsty. So I'm not going to record much today. This is the only thing I really want to record today. So I hate the Remy match with anybody. Especially with Alex. Remy will rock me really badly. I don't know why he just... Uh, he just gets me every single time. Akuma has options. Alex, uh, he has options, but they're not great. Like I can fireball, I can jump out, I can, I can teleport. <laughs> I didn't know that combo actually. I'm stupid. So I thought I'd try and chip him down a bit, just a little bit. And there we go. I've built my meter back so I can do another super at some point. So that's good. Alright then, let's try and. I did the air fireball just so I'd avoid that um, sonic boom. And I was gonna tech this, but then I realized oh, I already did a jump kick. I did the wrong one, that was a fierce. I wanted the um, jab so it would actually hit him. Stopping all my jumping attempts. But I've got fireballs, so. I'm gonna let him kill me here. There's no point in trying to fight it. I was trying to go for a teleport, but for some reason it just did never come out, so. Alright, so here we go again. I stopped him right before the super could do anything. Well, do much damage anyways. And he's stopping my jump-ins again. I could have teched some of those, but I didn't. Or parried, whatever. Remy's got me on the ropes again, God damn it! I could have done a cut, and there we go with this unsafe light tuts. Oh, you. So I took that opportunity because I knew that. And there, you know, he was getting up. I'm not going to miss an opportunity to dash in, jump, and fireball cancel into super. Because there's two th options that Remy had. He could either parry, which is difficult because of my previous fireball, or he had to block and eat the hit and die. So. The only way to get out of that kind of situation is if you know how to parry a fireball cancel with different timings. Because the timing varies not only on when I decide to cancel, but on what fireball I use. 
It's really, really a dirty trick, but I love it so much. It's surprisingly easier to jump count, jump parry than um, um, than to stand and parry it. Don't know why. But as you can see in the beginning of this match, I did some f um, back strongs to try and build a bit of meter so I could have some meter to use. And I'm trying to chip him down to try and just kill him off real quick. Because my health was getting a bit low and I was getting a bit panicky. So right here I'm just trying to build a bit, m bit of meter. And he grabs me as I thought he would. Oh shit! I can actually stop that with a with a fireball in the air, <clears throat> but I just didn't. wasn't prepared for it. And I cancel to try and chip him down a bit. Don't know why. Could have saved it. <laughs> I can teleport out, and that's what I'm exactly what I'm gonna do. I do not want to be in the corner with Hugo. Ah, Hugo's grapples does so much damage, so I want to be out of there quickly. Fireballs only build meter when you actually hit the opponent, and I cancelled it just in case he blocked. Yeah, fireballs don't build meter for anyone. Um, they only build meter when they get a hit. So, alright, let's do this ball game. This one I'm actually quite proud of because I did surprisingly well. I can actually do this, so I'm very proud that I did it for the recording. This is pretty much quite easy once you know how to parry actual moves. There we go. Perfection. Yeah, once you know how to parry moves, like super moves, then it's really easy to do the ball game. <clears throat> I didn't want to fight Elena, because I hate her so much. I just don't know her, so I mean... I was expecting Urian to do something to get in on me, such as a dash or whatever, so that I could uppercut, but that never happened. Going for a combo there, but I missed by doing a strong touch instead of a light. And Aegis Reflector, which I can parry the whole thing. <laughs> I got hit with my own super, that my own fireball, that was fun. And I parry. Just because it's easy enough to parry and it gives you extra points, so I mean, I may as well. That again was an impossible situation unless he parried and reversed, reversaled, but... Timing on fireballs is so varying when I'm in the air that you have to weigh up, is it worth parrying it? Or do I just block or do I just eat the hit? So he's trying to be smart with me, and um, yeah, you just reflect that. I par try and parry it, which I do a decent job of. I wasted a whole meter. I always fuck that up. And I missed the um, fierce uppercut. I'm determined not to let him win the around. So I'm trying to. Ooh. I think the AI was going for a red parry or something. Red parry into parry, 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 or red parry into block, I don't know. But he stopped blocking either way, so good for me. Uh, I'll take on a bit of Yoon. I want my revenge. Yoon rocked me as I was Alex. He destroyed me so bad, so I want my revenge right now. So I'm going to be a tad aggressive and a tad runaway. I was a bit pissed off at Ian right now. I parried, but I didn't follow it up with anything. Because I don't know the timing of that EX move. I was going for a um, fireball low hit, so he'd have to 
block high and then low. And that's the end of him. One stupid whiffed move and you get uppercut fireballed. I now have no meter, but at least I have more meter than he does. You may have already noticed, but Akuma cannot use EX moves. I think he's got more than enough tools without him though. Right now I'm just trying to get in normals so I can build meter more. So I have more meter to play with. And that is basically Akuma's equivalent of an EX move. And I saw that he whiffed a normal move, so I thought I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the cancel. Ryu. Now I don't know why, but the Ryu AI gives me serious, serious problems. I just don't know what it is, but he gives me really big problems. On the hardest difficulty, you can bait him out, but on like the medium difficulty, which is where I am, you know, the default difficulty of three stars, he's really, really unpredictable. And I don't know why that is. Why is he more predictable on the hard difficulties? <laughs> you know, it makes no sense. But I went in for a um, jab, short jab, just to push me away enough so he wouldn't be able to you know, get me. Seemed to have worked out. I mean, I got away, so... Stand and I fall for this bullshit number numerous times where he just fireballs me and I try and jump and he gets me. He never does an uppercut... Yeah, he never does an uppercut when I want him to. I don't know why I didn't parry that one. Alright, here we go. Don't really want to lose. I did try and parry that fireball, by the way. Do combo. And I whiffed the combo. Because my execution failed for some whatever reason. And I could never get the punishing um, tuts when I did that. Don't know why. The um, low forwards, that is. So here we go with the final round. I'm just trying to... Yeah. Now, supers will get Akuma out of his teleport, but that's only if he's right in front of you. You know, that's only if he's in front of you. If he's already gone past you, don't bother because that will whiff because I'm past you but if Akuma teleports and is right in front of you super and that'll stop him right in his tracks see that I was trying to jump I don't know why I just didn't parry now I'm kinda scared <clears throat> because I don't wanna okay here we go here we go just gonna rush in rush in a little bit now fireballs hopefully this will get him now, though, again, there was hardly anything he could do. He could have, like, dashed away or anything, but when I saw he got knocked down, I just wanted to dash in as quickly as possible and then air fireball. <clears throat> ah, Gil. I love you, Gil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up, Gil. I'm going to hold my mic for a minute. Because I'm just commentating right now, so... Alright, so air fireballs and do whatever the fuck I can to try and win. They got me there. Okay. Now, if he whiffs a close cryokinesis right next to you in the corner, you can punish with a um, low f roundhouse. Because he's still in the animation. As soon as Akuma recovers, he's still in the animation. There I just wanted to whiff a few normals so he would get the fuck away from me. So I'd push him back a little bit. 
He tried to do a move, but I punished with low fierce, low roundhouse. So this round, he's gonna get the meter. He's probably, if I don't bait out his supers, which is somewhat hard. Oh, and I stopped him right there because that was gonna kill me. So right now, I want to bait out his super. There we go. Even on block, that does over half my health. So I think, right, I'm going to take this opportunity to combo his ass. In I go. Boom. See the whiff move. And just go for it. There we go. See the whiff move. Fireball. He's on the ground. Fucking go for it. That's the first time I've ever done that with Akuma. Um, beat him without losing. So I'm quite proud of that one. I think my gameplay right here was not the best, but at the same time, it had its shining moments. And again, I'm a bit ill today, so my Alex gameplay was even worse. But with Akuma, I've played him so much now, because this game's all I play, pretty much, at the moment. Apart from the stuff that I, you know, play through, this is all I play. That and RuneScape, but, I mean, you know, I just kind of have that on the background if I'm bored or something. But this is what I mainly play now. Street Fighter 4 is so weird. Like, with Akuma, I thought I was jumping too high. It was, ugh. It feels sluggish. Street Fighter 4 is just completely difficult to get into again. And my total grade was an A. That's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that one. This is this. Oh yeah, and the soundtrack right here is Jazzy NYC. Cause I I really like that um, stage music. Don't know why. Anyway, that was the Akuma Arcade playthrough, and hope you liked it. Yeah. See ya.